25th birthday. Now, from the darker days of her affair with Charles when she was married, when he was married to Diana, she has undergone a remarkable rehabilitation, a champion of charities, not least my own Ebony Horse Club in Brixton. She's also embraced important issues from brittle bone disease to child literacy. She's also recently been the guest editor of Country Life and was the subject of a fascinating television documentary. To reflect upon that, I'm delighted to be joined by a good friend of mine, Jenny Bond, BBC's former royal correspondent. Jenny, in your view, has the British public finally forgiven her and fully embraced her? To a very, very large extent, yes. I, I do quite a lot of public talking. I'm sure you do as well. And I, I talk about the royals. And, and the transformation is astonishing from 25 years ago when Diana died. You know, if I mentioned Camilla's name, I mean, I don't think there's any exaggeration to say, you know, she was probably one of the most hated people um, in the country. Um, and now when I talk about her um, and ask people's opinion, there is a genuine affection. And uh, people feel, I think, that after the Queen made it clear Clear that uh, Camilla should be queen consort. That's kind of settled that debate because that one was still going on and I, I was still finding some resistance to the idea of Camilla being queen consort. But I think uh, the queen has sorted that one out. And yes, she's, she's respected and well loved now, I think. One of the other things I find intriguing about it, and, and it, it's slightly reminiscent of uh, uh, the Duke of Windsor and Wallace Simpson, it's a generational thing. Uh, one of the charities that I love, the Ebony Horse Club, which is predominantly young people, they think the world of her because she comes and sees them, she knows about ponies, she knows about horses, she really cares, whereas older folks still remember it all and still are rather judgmental. Yes, that's right. There are stalwart supporters of Diana who will never forget and never forgive Camilla. But my view has always been um, in all these years that are Charles and Camilla to be punished forever for having failed first marriages? I mean, how many other people have failed marriages and go on to find happiness with someone else? And I also remember graphically Diana herself in one of our conversations together at Kensington Palace telling me on a particular day in June uh, that Camilla always had been, always would be the love of Charles's life, and Charles's love for Camilla would never, um, would always be stronger than any marriage he might have made. That's what she said to me on a particular day. So I think Diana herself recognised the strength of that relationship. I mean, they're great friends with friendship going back over 50 years. Um, and, you know, it's been rocky, obviously, and they made marriages which perhaps they both came to regret. But in the end, they found true happiness with each other. They're a delightful couple. So 75 is a biggie.